So I heard a story. There's a little boy on a beach walking, picking up starfish and putting them back into the ocean. And there's an old man behind him. And he comes up to him and he's like, why are you doing this? The ocean's just gonna wash him right back up. And the little boy looks at him and he says, it made a difference to this one and puts the starfish back in the ocean. Each patient, each starfish, we don't know if we're making a difference, but it matters today and it matters with that patient. Hi, my name is Taylor Fox. I am an RN here on P4. My name is Jessica Washington. Uh, I am the clinical mentor for the surgical trauma floor. I'm David Hanna. I am the manager of renal dialysis. I'm Darnika Vaughn. I'm the assistant manager to Tower 6, Tower 7. My name is Isaac Flores. I am one of the ED assistant managers. What I love about JPS is the experience. Good or bad, we all are learning something. We have over 4,000 nurses who work here at JPS. You have a team of nurses, you have a team of interdisciplinary professionals who can help you, who can also help make a difference in that patient's life. Here, our patients re really do need us. and I think it's something that I've always enjoyed. There is a lot of potential and growth here, um, especially as a nurse, they do push you a lot to grow. There's different pathways. They're the only ones that can do this job. <laughs> it's a... Uh... It's a very taxing job. It's a job that sometimes gives you little appreciation and sometimes it gives you uh, lots of appreciation. Our nurses are special because we come with a caring heart. To show up and dedicate your day to making sure that everyone else's days go to plan, to know all the things that we have to know and know all these intimate personal details about a person's life, but we want to care for them, we want to make them better, we want to make sure that they get to go home. And so you get to show up every day and pick up your starfish and teach them, educate them, get them their meds, make sure that they're clothed and that they're going to be able to go home and take care of themselves and put them right back into the ocean and hope that that's where they stay and if they come back and they wash back up, we'll pick them back up and put them right back in the ocean.